since the sport took a hold in the UK five years ago. But the Birmingham Bulls are attracting the most attention at present, as Mike Staniforth reports. The Budweiser Bowl last year and a crushing win for the Birmingham Bulls over the London Olympians. It broke the previous London dominance of American football in this country and just to emphasize that, the Braves 6 and 7. And after last week's 48-7 win over Nottingham Hoods, the Bulls go into their crunch central conference clash tomorrow against Leicester Panthers unbeaten and looking good for a second successive Bud Bowl appearance but they're taking nothing for granted. At this point, I think we have just as good a chance as anyone else. It's always hard the second time around the league. Uh, as you know, the first five games, the first time you meet your opponents, and the second five, we go a little bit outside the league and meet those opponents for the second time. So it'll be a little bit harder, a little bit more preparation on the coach's part, and a little bit more uh, effort on the player's part. If the Bulls go all the way again, they couldn't have got their timing better. This year's Bud Bowl is being officially recognized for the first time by the NFL. Testimony indeed to the improvement in the British game. Well, everybody gets better every year because they, they have good coaches coming in from America to teach the game. The athletes uh, get better every year because they're taught better. And, you know, they're great athletes to begin with. It's just teaching the game. So it, it's a higher standard every year. We get more people coming out, more interest. So. You know, it's, it's growing very rapidly, and the, people, the fans love it, the players love it, and it's a lot of fun for everybody. The Bulls' homegrown talent includes running back Trevor Carthy, who's also helped Britain into the semi-finals of the European Championships. So when the International League is set up over here next spring, will he want to be part of it? Most definitely. I mean, that's what you, that's what you aim for. You know, I mean, you always dream about, you know, playing for a pro team. And if that, if that happens, then, you know, we want to be there as well, you know, and if, like they say, they, they are giving us the opportunity to, um, you know, try out, then we'd, we'd just have to do it, you know, to prove to ourselves that we're, you know, even though we're British, that we're just as good as the Americans, if, we get, if, if given the chance. The Bulls, meanwhile, continue their domestic dominance against all the odds. They're having to survive without a sponsor. But they're still heading for two trophies, unbeaten at home and now matched against the Amsterdam Crusaders in the last eight of Euro Bowl, which no British club has ever won. The Birmingham Bulls now face the most important fortnight in their history. If they beat Leicester tomorrow and the Amsterdam Crusaders at the end of the month, they'll be well on course for a unique double. Mike